What is up, everybody? Welcome to Asteroid Bounty Hunter. It is a game that is basically like Asteroids, the classic arcade game, but it's a little more than that, a little more pumped up. There's all kinds of things to talk about, but let's just get to playing it. Um, I've already played it a little bit, actually. You can see I've gotten to level 6. Uh, hmm, I have an upgrade. You know what we're going to do? We're going to increase our shield. Alright, we'll talk more about that in a second, but... Um, I'm just going to show you some of the levels I did. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing more of it, I, I will play more if you want. Um, but yeah, let's just check it out. Level 1. There's a little bit of story to the game. Uh, there's three difficulties for each level. Um, I was playing on hard earlier, but the levels take really long on hard. So let's just do medium. Easy I think would be too fast. All they do is they change the HP of the asteroids and I think the bad guys. Alright, let's just see what's going on. Get up, you lazy good for nothing. We have a job to do. Okay, okay. Stop being so annoying. It's morning. It's past noon. Did you consider to go easier on the booze? You've been hammered for weeks now. Relax, honey. You know I'm always up for a job. Sure hope so, because this next one is a big one. A nearby planet, X05, reported a big wave of asteroids heading their way. Scanners are reporting that no way in hell their shields will last. Did you prepare the weapons and the shields? Ready and standing by. Then let's go earn a living, baby. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit of a cringe intro. Obviously, the there's not a whole lot of emphasis on story in, the, in this game. Uh, that was a little painful to, to listen to. Um, but Yeah, so, so it's basically like... Asteroids, alright, we're just gonna fly around and shoot asteroids, no, nothing too, uh, too complicated to it. I think, uh, actually this, this whole level, you were limited to this basic shooter. And so, I don't know, it, it looks pretty simple. Um, and this is basically all, all there is to it in the first level, so we actually won't spend very much time here. Cause this is where I sort of went through my tutorial, but now that I'm with you guys, we don't really have one, so. Uh, the, the story is a little cheesy, um, what store there is, uh, but I don't know, <laughs> it's alright, what are you going to expect, I mean, there was no story in Asteroids, well there was kind of actually, but yeah, and then there's those bad guys, and I don't know what that is, I think it's to upgrade your ship, holy cow phone, alright, um, so, this is basically the first, that's like the extent of it, you know what, let's just beat it, we're just on medium, it'll be fast, it's pretty easy, uh, and we're on medium, and hard. all hard would mean is that, like, these asteroids take us twice as long to destroy. So, uh, I don't know. I've, I've sort of learned a strategy. Uh, I played for a while, about an hour earlier, and it's kind of a rage-inducing game. So if you like rage games, this game is definitely rage-inducing. Just like, I mean, if you ever played Asteroids, it was a rage game. You know, it's like the original hardcore rage game to me. And this is definitely rage-worthy at times. Uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be frustrating. Not right now, but if you turn it up to hard difficulty, it'll definitely be. The level we're going to go to after this, you'll see. You'll see the rage, probably. And I'm only in the first little segment of it. You probably won't see me rage, because right now, I'm, I have enough experience to handle some of these levels, I think. Hopefully. I don't know. The level we're going to go to, it was hard before. Yeah, part of my strategy is going for the little ones when they show up because you get no more points for shooting the big ones. You see down there, every time I get an nice asteroid, friend, I get a point. Hope you don't spend the money on the I need full again. 50 points to move on. Yeah, see. So you just go for the little ones if you can. All right, so we're going to skip from level one. Let's go, let's go to level four. We might check out level six, but right now we're just going to do four and five, I think. Let's see this real quick. Um... I'll increase that. I've been just increasing that, but uh, I think the shield will actually be pretty good to have. Oh, okay. There's a little bit of problems with this user interface. So you're like here, and then you go to upgrade, but then it, it brings you back to like the main screen for some reason. All right, this level is really cool. So, so get ready for it. The graphics are going to change a lot. A bit, not a lot. Yeah, those asteroids look epic. I sound like I don't believe it, but they actually do look pretty cool. Not that one. Those ones look cool, though. Now I have other powers. See, this one will... It's like an area thing, and it will get a lot of the asteroids. 
This thing's like a, a photon ray thing, and it's super strong. All right, then I have another. Oh, see, I ran into asteroid. I have a little bit of a shield, but I lost some health there. All right, you can already see it's it's a little more fast-paced than the last one, but this isn't even the bad stuff yet. So there's gonna be more of these guys now. These guys seem to be the only really like minion bad guys so far. There might be some later on. Who knows? Ugh. Oh, I'm getting hit way too much. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna blow up. Oh my gosh. And you basically gotta... Oh god. You gotta wait them out to heal. So basically you're just... You heal by not getting hit. See my health's going up a little bit there. Okay, this is about to get ragey. Okay, never mind. <laughs> there is a point in this level. Although, I don't know. I guess if you beat it fast enough, you'll never really get to the hard parts. Suppose or, uh, not supposedly, but uh, I guess you could assume. I right, see this, get, this thing is to kind of hit those ones down there. I like to save this for these guys. That guy's invincible right now, so I just wasted it. Ah, crap. Ah! Oh my gosh. Bob and Weave. <laughs> Alright, I don't know. I still don't really know what those are. I think that... Oh, look. I don't know what that means. Protected as a poor... Nah, I'm here for the money. Okay. I don't know if you can actually use the money. I think that's for your ship upgrades, so... Okay, see, I had to... Blast my way through there. Okay, so I have another wep another weapon that we're going to use now. This is supposedly to save you in your time of need. Although it's a little slow. Yeah. I don't know, it's not terribly effective. It's supposed to be the like last resort weapon. I could definitely think... Oh wow, I used all my good weapons before this guy. I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh, I got all four of them in here. What am I doing? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm good. Oh no! <laughs> okay, he's dead. Okay, I can't go get that stuff because I won't, I won't make it. Alright. Just barely got out of there. Alright, right now my goal is to just destroy as many asteroids as possible. <laughs> oh no! Ah! <laughs> oh god. Alright, let me see if I can get back to that point. I won't beat this. So I got back to 55. I think that's where we left off. Uh, I just finished fighting all those guys. Alright, it's a good idea to save up your powers as best possible. You can see those messages in the top. There's like times where the asteroids get like... God dang it. <laughs> so, I think this is where we left off again. Here we are, at 55. Let's try not to die. Oh my gosh, I'm good at it. <sighs> All right, <sighs> here we are again. We're coming to the, this part where I keep dying at. Uh, let's use our moves more wisely. Here we go. We use our our little hawk guy. If you get hit by the big one, you're basically screwed. So we need to use this move more. It's actually pretty good for uh, saving you in a in a pinch. You should really, I should really be trying to shoot more things, but I just don't want to die. <laughs> Is that so bad? <laughs> you just want to dispatch these guys as fast as possible. Use your beam if you have to. But I need to save it for after this because I do not want to redo this whole level again. I was under the impression there were some checkpoints because earlier I died a couple times. and th I thought there were some checkpoints. I think there are checkpoints, but I don't know what you got to do to get them. Maybe level up or something. Alright. So I should be able to use all my good weapons for the rest of this. I probably won't have to meet those guys again. Okay, see there's these power-ups where everything just gets stronger and it sucks. It makes it so much harder. It doesn't it doesn't seem like it does, but it really does increase their uh, 
their life. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Get me out of here. Oh, thank God. You old okay. weasel. Always pulling through. Your luck will run out sometimes. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Alright, so. That was that level. Okay, and this is just the first set of levels, and that's pretty crazy. And I died like three times in there. <laughs> that's pretty rage inducing. Uh, so we can go upgrade. Let's go upgrade our life for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, look, we can get this one now. Yay! Is there anything different? Okay, so yeah, those green things are definitely the mastery points. That's what that is. I oh, see, it takes you back to here. I don't like that. Um, Alright, continue game. Alright, so this is a boss level. I already played it a little bit. I'm going to keep it on easy, and, and you'll, you'll see why. You'll see why. John, you won't like this. There's a large field of debris heading our way. Can't we just dodge it? I tried that already, but it seems like it's following us. What the hell is going on? Oh, man. Charge the shields fast. An old friend is collecting a debt. Oh, no, you didn't. You can give me the I told you so talk later. I hope you charge my shields. John, my old friend. Long time no see. I guess you still don't have the money to pay me back. But no worries. I will collect this time. Your ship and your head. That old trash will add a nice collection to my debris field. I've considered to settle this peacefully. But no one will call my lady old trash. Oh my guess. <laughs> Just a heads up. He used some kind of a field disruption to keep the debris field close to him. Be cautious. Okay, so this story actually kind of reminds me of like Star Fox. <laughs> if you uh, have played much of Star Fox. Okay, so the reason I'm keeping this on easy is because, okay, this is a fun battle, and it's fine, but it's basically a, uh, a hack and slash fest. Okay, he has these two moves you just saw. Which is that green thing, and the, yeah, that green thing, and then the red, like, solar flare thing. And then here comes his, his only other move. And I beat him on medium before. Um, or hard, medium or hard, one of those two. I think it was medium. Um, and basically, it just, it's just a long, you don't really die against, he's not really that hard. Okay, now I'm gonna die, now that I said that. Um, but, uh, it's just, you're just gonna sit here shooting him for so long. See, I got my death beam and that going into him. I'm gonna get the phoenix going. Call the phoenix. I'm just launching all my attacks at him at this point. <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to be able to do something to his attacks, but I don't think so. Okay, I thought I just blew up. Yeah, and when this is happening, you're better off just saving your special attacks. Try to just dodge. Oh, it's kind of a fun boss battle. It reminds me of the uh, the first boss in N64 Star Fox. <laughs> it kind of the, the whole talking kind of reminds me of the way he's like an old friend. It's like a Star Wolf or something like that. Get away from me! Get back! Back from me, devil. Oh no! It's hard to pay attention to all the things coming at you when you're busy shooting. You can't see other things glowing when you're glowing. I don't know. Shut up. Don't make fun of me. Yeah, this is basically the whole boss fight. Oh! Of course. Why not? Alright, so I think this is about where we left off. Um, I did just die. I feel kind of stupid for that because I told you uh, it's easy. It is easy, but I stopped paying attention to uh, Zoom and I just flew into these blue things, which are apparently quite strong, and I just about did it again. I'm talking too much. <laughs> Ugh. So, this is the only really hard part about him, I think. Oh my gosh! I don't know why I did that already. I should have waited. Okay. He's dead. It's okay. <laughs> I have slain the breeze lord, yay! The guild will avenge me. The guild. No one opposes the guild. Yes, away with it. I don't know if I should congratulate you or feel sorry for that us. face. You know that entire bounty association will be after us after this. All right, so just a few of my thoughts on the game. Um, uh, we'll, we'll just leave that for now. Um. As far as the user interface, it's just not 
not great. It's pretty, it's, I mean, it's fine though. Um, but my least favorite thing is, I hate how this happened, man. This little thing happens. Then we go there, and we go, I mean, I, I guess they have this thing, so maybe it's not that bad, actually. Um, as far as the controls, the controls are fine. Uh, let's go see. The controls for that has setup are fine, and it, you can reroute it all, and uh, it claims that you can use an Xbox controller. Um, but when you try to map your Xbox controller to it, it won't map the analog or uh, directional pad. It'll only map the A, B, X, Y, uh, right bumper and left bumper. So it won't even do the left trigger or right trigger. Um, it'll only do buttons, I guess. So no triggers, no triggers and no analog sticks. Um, I don't know why it won't do the directional buttons. It would actually be a lot easier with the controller, I think. Um, not that, that it, it doesn't really make that big of an impact, but um, yeah. So the actual game, uh, the levels are cool. It's definitely like a like asteroids on crack. Um, the boss level it was it was fun, but it, it was sort of like a, a Star Fox villain without any of the cinematics or anything like that. Um, but that's kind of what you expect. The point is to be sort of platform style, rage inducing. Uh, the, the actual the art in it is pretty cool. Um, let's go check out this real quick. We're not gonna actually play the level. Um, so. The actual art is pretty cool. The animations for the attacks are cool. I'm just gonna look at them real quick. You, you saw you saw the Phoenix thing before. That one's pretty cool. Then the Ray is also pretty nice. We can't see that Phoenix one here. Um, but something I can show you while we're here is uh, you see the music. It's up there. The music is fully um, operational. Like you can do your own thing. With two, you can skip to the next song. So let's see how many songs there. Are. Okay, here we go. Knox. Oh my gosh. Hey, there's a, a quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of music. There you go. So I don't know. That was a lot. You can count it. <laughs> okay, so we click three. So they play in order, but you can actually uh, you can make them random. And basically, just pick a random song. There's also a way you can mute the music, obviously, but um, as far as music goes in games, it's, it's pretty good music. Uh, most games I don't like when it's like dubstep music in it, but in this game it works just because of, of what the game's like. Let's look at this Phoenix really quick. I like the graphics for the Phoenix. I wonder if there's any other attacks in this game. I do not know. Oh. I think we're you look at the Phoenix. It's pretty cool. I don't know what's happening there completely, but it's like coming out of a wormhole or something. I can customize the music while I play. Yeah, so I think the graphics are nice, the art's nice, the level design is obviously, I mean, it's rage inducing. I mean, it, it doesn't get rage inducing until about level four, but I can't even imagine what happens at like level six. Um, but I mean, there's lots of upgrading. Uh, anything that has lots of upgrading is a pretty good thing. Uh, look at that planet back there, it's pretty cool. Alright, so this looks kind of the same. Okay, I thought I thought maybe it would look really different. So, this level actually kind of looks um, like all of these did. But this level looked really cool, level 4. So yeah, I mean, it's a pretty cool game. Um, like I said, the user interface is just okay. Uh, the graphics are good, uh, as good as you would expect for something like this. The music is, is really, really good, I think. Um, what else? Uh, the actual difficulty of it, it's there. I mean, no matter what difficulty you put it on, it's difficult. And you're going to get mad. I don't know how YouTube-able this game is, but it's definitely good for you to play if you want a little rage game. Uh, and then the boss levels are okay, and the story is obviously cheesy. And there's a little bit of um, to be desired as far as their ability with grammar. <laughs> Uh, especially, I mean, like, sometimes the, the characters will be saying things and the subtitles will be different. So, uh, this is a few thoughts. It's a pretty good game. I would give it, like, a 6 out of 10. It's fun, but it won't be fun very long. So, yeah, if you guys want to see some more of this, feel free to let me know. And if you would like to have a free copy of this game, I have two free copies to give away. If you just like the video and tell me what I scored the game in the comments below, 
I will randomly pick somebody within the next week or so to get a free copy of this game. Alright, that's all I got for you guys. See you later.